Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. We got that that Mercedes today here guys and we cannot start that thing. We got it at an auction, you know, and uh, we have no idea what's wrong with it. Looks like it's computers or something. It tries to start and then it dies, you can hear it. Uh, and sometimes it doesn't even try at all. So let's go ahead and see what's wrong with that thing. Uh, we're gonna check fuel, fuel and spark first. Okay, still doesn't start. So let's see, let's see what's the problem with it now. Okay, right here. So what we're gonna shoot for first, spark plug guys. Make sure we get good spark, otherwise uh, it will never start. So if you're not getting spark on any of the plugs, it's most likely crankshaft position sensor. Usually located towards the front, uh, behind the pulley there on the crankshaft or towards the back. This one is towards the back on the transmission housing there. So we're going to take the engine cover off and all that stuff now so we can access the spark plugs and we're going to see if we're actually getting any spark on the cables uh, before actually removing the spark plugs. <coughs> Okay, right here. Those are, uh, you know, that Mercedes, most of the uh, older ones uh, and even newer ones, some they have the double spark plug design. So we're going to pull one of them out and we're first going to test the cables to make sure we're getting spark plug. You can test all of them and remove the spark plugs as well. We're just going to use another spark plug. We want to see if the cable works first. Okay, and we're gonna shoot and see what happens. Let's go ahead and turn it on now. So we're going to go ahead, never ever touch that with your finger, leave it like there. It needs to be contacting metal, ground, that way you see if there is spark. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and see, turn the car on, okay, and see if it sparks. And you can see it does. Okay, let me check one more time. Okay, you can see it's getting good spark. So that's not our problem, obviously. Unless it's a spark plug. So if you're still in doubt, pull the spark plugs, check them, make sure they're not flooded. We have the video on our, uh, our channel as well. Our repair guys and we're gonna go and test the the fuel pressure now. Okay, we want to see if we're actually getting any fuel now. Okay, right here is the fuel rail. Usually you can find a place where you can test it to test the pressure. Uh, never do that on a uh, hot engine or anything like that. Uh, we're going to remove the the valve actually to see if we're getting fuel. Always use gloves. Never spray fuel outside because you can set the car on fire. Don't do what we do. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and try to uh, to turn it on and see if the fuel pump works. Actually, we're going to get pressure here. So I'm going to put just a plastic bottle here. Okay, and uh, somebody's going to turn the key on. Don't start the car. Just turn it on. Okay, and if there is fuel and if the pump is working, we're going to get fuel here. Nothing. You can see nothing so our problem most likely is fuel related so what we are going to do now we will actually install the needle here now so we want to make sure that it doesn't spray fuel anywhere everywhere if uh, for some reason it decides to deliver fuel to the engine okay and what we are going to do now something that probably you shouldn't unless you're really familiar with cars is something that yeah stay with us to see what we're going to do but let me check first the let's check the computer first see if we're getting any codes if uh, if we're uh, able to turn manually turn the fuel pump on and all that stuff okay so I'm going to go to diagnosis here control unit and we will select the engine module the computer right here let's see if we have any any codes related to that if we do, you'll be able to tell us what it is. So we need to make sure that the ignition switch is on. In our case, I think we left it off. Okay, it's on now. 
so it's connecting and uh, we'll be able to test the fuel pump to manually turn it on and off with this computer okay this is maxi seats guys right here ms908p so let's go ahead and establish communication again with the computer Okay, let's see what happens. So now we're going to re read codes right here. See if we can actually turn them on. Okay, hot fuel mass airflow sensor. So we have a problem with the with the map. That's ma the mass airflow sensor. And uh, it could be dirty, it could be it, but we'll see. We'll see what else it could be, but we don't get fuel. So it's not the it's not it's not the mass airflow sensor that causes the car not to start in this case so uh, what I'm going to do I'll go to actually special functions here okay and I want to okay let's see active test actually active test and I want to see if I can manually turn the fuel pump on and off okay fuel pump right here it's establishing communication now and uh, we we should be able to manually turn it on and off and see if it works. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead now it's active on off. You can see if I click F3, it's going to activate it. It's under the seat here, you'll be able to hear a buzz. It's not very loud, but you'll be able to feel it yourself. Okay, right now we activated it. Okay, you can hear it active. Even the fan turn on to show us that it's active. Okay, perfect. So now we know it's not the fuel pump. And if we turn the ignition on and then turn it on, you'll be able to hear the pump too if it runs. Okay. Let me go under the car and see if I'm able to get a better sound. Okay, I can definitely hear it now. So the pump is working. That's not the problem. What we're going to try next, guys, is something you shouldn't probably try if you're not familiar with cars so much. But we're actually going to uh, put a little bit of gas in the intake to see if it's going to start. Always stay out of the way. You can set the car on fire, explode, all that stuff. So you always have to be careful. Okay, we'll just put a little bit to see if it's going to fire up. And he died because it ran out of gas. So now if we start it again, it will start. So our problem guys is a fuel filter most likely because the fuel pump is running but we're not getting fuel. It's either a regulator or, uh, or a fuel filter but uh, all that is in the sender unit in the under the seat in the fuel tank actually so uh, that's how it is on this Mercedes. Some just uh, it's just a fuel filter which is really easy to replace but in our case we have to pull it out and replace the whole assembly. So. Uh, that's how we diagnose that one today guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.